My purpose in life is to be a fisherman. Flowers are love, you know. They express themselves through color. They attract the eye. I am Claire Nayton from Homer, Alaska. My name is Emma Teola Kaitis. Who am I? My name is Sefa Gohobwaten. We are in the deep, dark jungle in the middle of the rainforest. Look around you and see what a beautiful place you're in. I am the, the caretaker of the Eden and Eve flower farm. Eden and Eve is a gender project. It's a project that involves the women of the community. We started the farm because it's important for us to reclaim the role of women in development of Ghana and of the world, actually. Women fishing in Alaska is just like a trend that's skyrocketing. We've been fishing since we could fish. We're really fortunate running our business and living in Alaska is like inspirational. Doing our job on the sea and eating the world, something delicious. And that's something we're all proud of. So today we're doing a little, a very small harvest. They usually end up with a, a buyer who exports to Holland. Yeah, it's a real labor of love, you know. I was inspired to do it um, by instinct and because of the love my mother has for flowers. And I realized that flowers have a way of lifting, uplifting the spirit, you know. Most of our fish goes to China. We think a lot about like the end user, like this beautiful piece of protein will eventually end up on someone's plate. The understanding that you can create a product and find a way to take what's local and make it global is really a challenge. Sisters means community to me. I'm very lucky to have an amazing sister. Women all over the world have the same concerns, the same desires to connect and do business with each other. My sister and I started Salmon Sisters, a clothing company inspired by the ocean and um, our lifestyle as fishermen. It's just a resource and an inspiration for young women to like come and like connect, like connect with the land and their food and their peers. Oh, come down to the water, I heard the wind cry. It's time to go fishing, the salmon are high. We'll soon be together, my sister and I. Come down to the water and fly. When we first started this project, uh, we thought we would like to give the woman a decent salary and they rejected it. They said they couldn't accept more money than their husbands were earning. As time has progressed five years later, their men now understand that, you know, it's okay for your wife to have money because she's gonna come back home and look after you. The path has been, it's been very twisty and curvy. Female Opportunity Alaska is abundant. There's women running boats, and there's skippers, there's crew. They're like Alaska's lifeblood. Veronica is the very first woman we worked with on the farm. The women love what they do. The whole idea of 
giving back to the society. It's an amazing project and I'm happy to be part of it. Some people would describe me as a Haliconia because I can be tough on the outside. Uh, <laughs> but I, I would like to think I'm more like an orchid. <laughs> am I delicate? Yes, you are. I am, huh? Fishing's not glamorous. Even if you have fish blood on your face, it's life. <laughs> I know it sounds really odd, but like we all sort of like revel when it's really shitty. Like we just like it when everything is stacked against you and like it couldn't get any worse and then it will. My first daughter died. It was due to negligence in a local hospital. My situation was a simple case of somebody not caring enough, not believing that what they would do would make a difference. Every day, humans can test their potential. You need to be able to like have the grit and tenacity to like go for it. Don't compromise, and it's okay not to compromise. Your dreams are possible. My dream is kind of to really make an impact on our generation. I've learned so much from the women of his community. They've taught me so much about what it means to be humble. There's no reason to be exploitative. Without the women, we wouldn't be able to grow these products to export out of the country. We rely on a lot of shipments from all around the world. They bring you what you need, provide what you need, and let you live a life of freedom. Can you imagine how brilliant the world would be if all the beings of light could come together and shine their light on the world? There is some sort of invisible bond between women. To the young who need empowerment, to the women who need empowerment. Dream and live your dreams.